avoided a catastrophe. Oh, that would have been a nightmare. We lost an hour on our own. We had to turn back, go back 30 miles or more to find a gas station. If we would have kept going, the gas station would have been 90 miles away and our car is saying 60 miles to empty back then and we were in the middle of nowhere. Lesson learned, if you're ever driving in the Dakotas, gas oh. up every chance you can. Down to 15 miles. This wouldn't have been a lot of fun running out of gas out here. We made it to Crazy Horse. Yeah, take a bus ride. I guess it's a 40 minute ride for $4 each. It'll take you to the base of the monument up there, Crazy Horse. So they continue to be in the process of finishing this thing. And the entrance fee for two people to get into this um, area is $24. So it'll cost us $24 plus $8, $32 uh, to get to the base, basically, of the mountain. If you want to go to the top, now that's a steep price. I think it's 130. Yeah, per person. That's quite a bit. So we're not going to the top. Memorial just outside of Custer, South Dakota. And ironically, uh, Crazy Horse uh, was victorious over Custer in 1877 in the Battle of Little Bighorn. So that's uh, where he is most known for. But uh, he was an Indian chief uh, in the 1800s uh, who was taken prisoner by the U.S. government uh, and, and the government wanted to drive him out of the South Dakota area. So he was taken prisoner and eventually killed by a guard while in the custody of the uh, United States military. So uh, Standing Bear, Chief Standing Bear, wanted to dedicate a tribute to Crazy Horse and the American Indians. So he solicited the help of a Polish-American sculptor named Korzak Zielikowski and his wife, Ruth. And they came up with the crazy horse concept, the sculpture. They knew it was gonna take a long time. Right now, as you can see in the background, the sculpture's got the head and are starting to work on the fingers and the arm. This is a great uh, memorial to him. They're trying to raise money. It's, none of this is federally funded. This comes from private contributions, mostly, to try and make this happen. They started this in 1948, started blasting and they've made continual progress ever since. It's not like Mount Rushmore, there's no government money. Rushmore took 11 years to build. They had 200 people in the construction process. Uh, Crazy Horse has 11 people working full-time on this, that's it. Overall, very impressive. The Zielikowski family is still working on this project. There were, there were 10 of them, and the sons and daughters are still living and uh, they're, they're very dedicated to, to seeing this project continue on for generations to come. So I'd recommend if you're in the area, definitely stop it.